Hey guys, Kim here from Kim on a Whim, and we're going to do a cleanup of the aftermath of what looks like a frat party, because my house is an absolute mess. Of course, I always have dishes in my sink. That's it's just how it is. I've, I've learned to accept it, and I think that's the first rule. You need to accept it. You will always have dishes in your sink. My kitchen table is a mess. I had to do a soda run yesterday, so I guess we're not kind of a frat house because uh, it would be a beer run, right? But my hot spot, as always, my kitchen table. I've been going through a lot of paperwork and trying to declutter all that. I gotta clean off my countertops here. I'm gonna do a quick cleanup in the bathroom because I did do a scrubbing of it before the weekend, but now it's just kind of a tidy up because, you know, there's always clothes and towels and I bet you there's a washcloth. Yep. Bingo! Always a washcloth in the bottom of the tub. Never fails. So this is what we have so far. We're going to go back through the kitchen here. Messy, messy, messy. All kinds of messy. I always joke with my husband and say that we always have parties that we're never invited to. Here is a quick view of the living room. Coco as always. But this is all of my paperwork that I've been going through, and I've decluttered probably five to six years of paperwork. So, yeah, big mess. Got some towels I have to put away. Just going to dust real quick over here. Got some, hmm, wow, okay. We've got a brush and a nail file in with the clean socks. And we got some clothes to put away. And then let's see, we're also going to work in the bedroom here. This is next room. We don't touch that. Got some clothes here. This has been a process, a process always, trying to just get everything out of this bedroom. This is kind of the catch-all, but I think we're going to start today in here. I think we're going to start with making our bed. I know I'm getting a really late start today. It's like 1230 already. I'm hoping to have this done by two. You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Right, guys so as you saw I started in a different spot today I actually started in the bedroom to make my bed and now I'm moving on to the kitchen where like I said there's always dishes but last night just didn't feel like doing them I just wanted to hang out with everybody else and watch a movie because usually I'm the one stuck in the kitchen while everybody's out laughing at the movie and I'm like really guys that's not fair so last night nope I just said no to the, I was being a rebel. I said no to the dishes and I went and watched the movie with everybody. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is the oddest thing that you are not able to find in your food store? And I know like toilet paper, that's actually not as bad anymore, but I know like Lysol wipes, cleaning products, hand soap especially, I cannot find hand soap anywhere. I've been using body soap in my dispenser because I just can't find the hand soap. But if you saw there, I was cleaning my blender and that's because we had pina coladas yesterday. Might be a reason as to why the dishes weren't done last night, but that's a whole other story. But I could not find frozen pineapple. I, I, I thought it was so bizarre, the fact that I could not find frozen pineapple 
to make pina coladas with. So let me know, yeah, what is like the oddest thing that you guys cannot find in your stores right now? Please don't judge. I'm realizing right now I really need to scrub where the sink meets my countertop because I see that is so nasty right now. So actually I should probably pause this and stop doing my voiceover and go clean that because yuck. Here's just a close up of the scratches that I get in my sink and mostly from my baking pans and my cast iron skillet. So I'm just going to let this barkeeper's friend sit here and if you stay tuned you'll see how this stuff works so well in getting all of those little marks out. But for now I'm going to move on to the rest of the kitchen, kind of just do my little soda twirl there. I don't know why I did that but <laughs> my uh, soda needs to be put away and I just need to, like they always say, the hot spot which is my kitchen table just needs to get cleared off. Bringing out this bin to put my paperwork in, I've been finding this really helpful to put all of my paperwork in this particular bin because it's small enough that it doesn't feel overwhelming. And I'd have to say I have a lot of paperwork in my house and I don't know if it's from my years of banking that I've always been told, oh, you need to keep stuff for seven years. Now I have kept all of my tax stuff for seven years, anything that has to do with my house for, for quite a long time. But I was reading up on it and it's saying like bank statements you should keep for two to three years, but like credit card statements, utility bills, if you see that your payment has been made and everything is correct, they're saying you can ditch. Now when I say there, I'm saying internet stuff that I was looking up. I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. So I keep the last two years of paperwork on hand. But I, just the amount of paperwork I have is so overwhelming and I do find that this little bin helps me a lot. And you'll see later on, you will see how much paperwork I've gone through and how much stuff I have to shred. You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us who Playing around without a clue On the edge screening out with us, it's all or nothing. Oh, but guess I need more of you. Oh, with us, it's all or nothing. But guess I need more of you. You say it during night, but in the morning, you just sleep. With us, it's all or nothing. Oh, but guess I need more of you. Oh, with us, it's all or nothing. But guess I need more of you. So I'm going to move on to cleaning up my countertops now and I'm going to use Lysol wipes this time around because 
I use these sparingly. I have this one canister and then one other canister that is completely full. These are so hard to find in my area. No Lysol wipes, no Clorox wipes. I can't even find like the seventh generation wipes. Nothing. Zilch, zip. So I think I'm going to have to make my own. And I did see some recipes on YouTube and on Pinterest. So I'm going to make them and if they work well for me, I'll let you guys know what I used. But I'm not going to clean my stove right now because I made chicken tenders this night and I wasn't going to clean the stove and then just make an absolute mess of it. So I'll just clean the stove after I do dinner tonight and make a mess of my chicken tenders. I noticed my sprayer was a little wonky, so I knew it was time for me to scrub this. It was spraying all over the place, but straight down the sink. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this, and I want to tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me. That barkeeper's friend does such an awesome job. Now I'm going to move into the living room and just take care of everything that was in here. Mostly it's just clothes that need to be put away, towels that need to be put away, and of course soda and glasses because I thought I was done, but dishes are never done. And that's part of me making a mess to clean a mess. Yes, I dropped all of the tables. Oh man. I have to tell you guys, the amount of feathers that I have to pick off of these pillows anymore isn't nearly as bad as they were. I'll link that video showing you the amount of feathers I had to take out of these pillows to get them to this point. So now that we have a fresh towel in the bathroom, I'm just going to move over to the cabinet here and put some of this stuff away. We always have little bobby pins all over the shelf here, so I just have a little magnetic strip that I like to put them up on, try and keep them at bay. I 
I'm moving on now to do a quick vacuum of the kitchen, the living room, and the bathroom so that I can get everything picked up and ready to mop. Have I spent my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too? If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive, alive, alive. If you hadn't run away. Every time I asked you stay, you would sleep right next to me tonight. But you didn't know me, all you wanted was a game to play. And you couldn't handle, but I had my ways. I found your mind tricks, and your side tricks, I'm a winner, babe. But you didn't win this, it's a part of the game. In the beginning, I just did. This is one of those rare days where Coco couldn't care less about the vacuum. I'm not her favorite person right now. I've been putting medicine in her ear and her eyes because she has a little bit of an ear and eye infection. So she's mad at me right now. going to move on to mopping my floors and I'm just using a little bit of the Mr. Clean with Gain scent and some really hot water. If you wait for like another minute you'll see how steaming hot the water was. I was kind of surprised that it was that hot but not going to lie just daydreaming out the window here. It was a gorgeous blue sky today and I was a little jealous that Mia was in the pool. Not going to lie. been feeling something for you lately and i am trying so hard to just stay cool oh man i think i might be going crazy cause all i really really want is to be with you and i'm like i'm saying we're just friends but thinking you're my man and baby, if you knew, hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm getting scattered, and I cry when you're not around, because it matters, matters, dreaming of your kisses, in the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing, but I feel like, hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm fine, but I'm scattered, we're just friends. Alright guys, if you have made it to this point in the video, thank you. I appreciate that. That means that you have watched 20 minutes worth of my video and that's really cool. I love that. 
um, hoping that you either like the content that I'm putting out or maybe you just like the music that I'm putting out there, but I do appreciate that. That means so much to me. And then I do have another question for you guys in the comment section below. Do you guys find that once you have swept or vacuumed or both and then mop that you need to go back and either sweep or vacuum again because you find all these little crumbs that appear after your mopping? I know I always do because I always find kibbles that either come out from underneath the stove or that come out from underneath the refrigerator. So I will do two passes of a vacuum with a mop in between. And I know that sounds insane and it drives me crazy, but it's just what I have to do. It's kind of like the dishes. If I learn to accept it, I'm okay with it. Hey, I say I'm doing all right. I'm fine. Hey, I say I'm doing all All right guys, so it is two o'clock and considering, not too bad. We got the bed made, that was one of the goals. Just gotta put some laundry away. Walk into the living room here. And we pretty much got this straightened up. Coco's still in her same spot. <laughs> this is, I've been decluttering all of my paperwork. And this, that is my shred pile. Yikes. This is my go through pile that was just on the kitchen table. And then this down here is the pile of paperwork for 2019, 2020. So I'm holding on to that. But for the most part, got done what I wanted to. Laundry's put away. Eh, iPad's still sitting there, but that's okay. Oh, tripod. And the kitchen, for the most part, we got it cleaned up. I usually give myself a little bit longer, although here's something funny, jokes on me. Yeah, that's right. More dishes, never ends. But I usually give myself a little bit longer than the hour because the dishes do take me so long. Like I've said before, I do the dishes by hand, so it does take me a little longer. So I give myself an extra time for that. But there you have it. Kitchen table's at least cleaned off, which is always a struggle for me and I have Easter eggs still sitting out that were in the bottom of a bin that I just got to put away in my Easter decor and then even this countertop got cleaned off. I gotta cut that watermelon. It's gonna go bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you do like videos like this. You know what guys, actually, I'm gonna leave you on a high note. Hey, Coco. Oh boy, she's tired from watching me work. <laughs> Bye, guys.